Okay, back over here in uh, Doc's garage, uh, we start, we're still in the troubleshooting for the fuel pump in this car. And as you can see here, this is uh, the relay for the fuel pump. And the description under is uh, something that I write, so you know what you can expect here now the what you see there is uh, the connection where the relay goes in the fuse box this is with the relay off is what you're gonna expect to have in these terminals uh, the one in the in the right top here this guy here is the one that you can do a bypass and supply battery power and the pump should run the bottom one is the one that you wanna don't do any test with it because that is the ECM control and you can fry the computer this one here the bottom left is a supply from the battery voltage and the one in the top is a uh, ground now I put the numbers here like you see 86 that is uh, if you turn the relay this way you see that will be the 86 30 85 87 that is when you connect the relay and the top that's what you supposed to get I also put a note here that this is with the relay off and in the bottom you can see in a schematic they don't use the numbers like 87, 85, 30 and 86 they use A1, A3, B1 and B3 and I put the definition there in the wire color after that so here you're gonna see that I got battery voltage 32 and if I go here I got 1232 now here is the prime for the pump that is reading that but if I put the switch on this should come to 12 volt uh, that is the prime for the pump and then in the top up there that is the one that you can energize this and get that pump running and then on the other side of that you got ground so that's why okay so next we're gonna do a Corian test if he let us do it and uh, check the power directly in the pump in the back because we still got problem with the fuel pump. Okay, I did a current test in the pump and as you can see here, uh, let me get this closer here. This is, I got three segments of the pump here. Uh, from here to here is one segment, so you can eight humps and whatever that number there, which is the what they call uh, delta time uh, in milliseconds, will be 14.22. Uh, you divide that by 60,000 which is one second and you calculate the RPMs in this pump here uh, the fuel pump and the fuel pump is uh, calculating 4219 uh, RPM per minute uh, any pump that is uh, running at 3000 is known, known to be problems with them and uh, this one is in the way out, 4,000 
And uh, this particular hump here, that one there in the end is, uh, is a question one. So this is how you calculate the RPMs. You use uh, a low amp pro, a low amp uh, clamp amp pro. I use this uh, that I bought from ASE Wave and you connect it to the relay there, it's easy. Now, you can see the pump running there, I mean the car running there, and the fuel pump is a steady, now 49 pounds. So, we're going after the pump back there and see we got the same voltage and ground and when you do voltage and ground and the pump you want to have the switch on you want to have what they call a loaded a loaded system so so you can uh, determine what is missing there if you got a good ground or you got a good power so it's always got to be loaded and uh, this is my Varus here, and Doc is working with his modis there to see if we can do the same test. To see uh, we can verify this with another oscilloscope. So right now, we're going to that point now. You can take that clamp out of there too. Mine is a recorder, and this is the good thing about the Varus, how uh, you do this thing, you go over here and press this guy here, and I got recording of all that running time that I did with the pump, I'm sorry about the glare, and this is the first selection, other selection, other selection, But this is how you calculate the RPMs in a fuel pump. Okay, guys? All right, guys. Back to you again, and I'm sorry. I thought I was filming, but uh, I gotta do this again. Uh, let me get this guy here. Take a look of the Vantage Pro. This is what the ECM is supplying this uh, pump voltage uh, to make it work. Now, it jumps to 13 volts, sometimes to 12, but that is, that is normal, that is okay. I wanted you guys to see the ground side. The ground side is this guy here. And this is a and low, the car is low. I mean, you got the engine running, so that is a good ground right there. That is what you expect to be in a good ground when the engine is running or loaded, okay? So that is not your problem there. The, the ground is good. And where I got disconnected here, you see that the black wire there, that's the ground for your pump. And this thick wire here and this harness is the one for the GEM. Always use a gray fat wire to supply power to the pump. So that is that. Uh, we got uh, good power to the pump here and we got good ground and uh, what we determine here 
with dog uh, mud is here. He was calculating his mud in his uh and the learning process too with this thing. Yeah. Uh, so he's uh calculating the RPMs after we got this engine running like for almost half an hour. And sometimes you see the car idling, idling funny and try to stall on us. Now, and the first test that I did with the, with my Veris that I got it next to it, I got the pump running anywhere from uh, I quite not remember, but it was up, up to 3,000 or close to 4,000. Now the pump being running there for half an hour, the delta time and calculating the RPMs this pump is running now is 20.52 milliseconds, okay? That is the delta time right now. And, uh, we calculate that and uh, with this uh, setup connected here, you see that guy there, that one, feels pressure here, we, we're trying to, to get everything covered here. So we calculating now, and Doug calculated that the pump is running now at 2,967 RPM, and GMs, and GMs, any, any uh, pump that is run, running under 3,000 is known to be a drivability problem. And this one, I know when we shut it off, probably it will not start again. So uh, again, over here, we're in Doc's garage here, having fun because we just having fun here. We don't do this for business or nothing. We just do this and the learning process and how to figure it out uh, and how to fix a car the right way by not changing parts, by determining what is the problem with the car. Again, this is the same car that I did a bypass in the switch, believing and getting misleading by my scanner because I got four security codes in the switch. The car needs a switch, but that is not the case right now. We need a fuel pump. Okay, what you're seeing here is my snap on Verist, and I uh, tried to explain something that I did with that uh, O3 Chevy Impala with the intermediate uh, crank no start. And I'm gonna go to my data manager. I'm gonna go to my folders here. And I name it Dorsey because that's the owner of the car. And what I did was a Korean test. And I want to explain this to you guys. When you take a picture like this, you got to see uh, all, you see that it's the same as this one. So when this end here, you pull this guy here and you pull this guy here that is a segment and then it repeats itself into here and you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten segments and if you calculate those ten segments uh, that's how you calculate the rpm per minute and the fuel pump this is a fuel pump Korean test and this uh this pump is pulling anywhere from 6 to 7.1 amps to run, okay? So, I got my amp, my uh, 
20 amp clamp and the positive wire of the pump and this is what the picture I get so if I want to calculate the RPMs per minute this pump is running I divide those 10 segments that is the delta time uh, that is right here and that guy is uh, 1 14.14 milliseconds okay that's what I got there because let me see I want to get this here close as possible to that okay and then 14.14 you take that put 60,000 divide it by 14.14 which is the delta time and that pump is running at 4,243 RPMs per minute and that's what I want to explain because in the video I guess misleading uh, and calculating how much RPMs it was but this is what I what I want to show you guys and then how much amp this pump is running so that is that that's how you calculate the RPMs per minute you gotta look at the picture as you can see here if I start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that is the that hump that I got there so is that guy there this the same one here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that is a 10 that is the cycle and the, that is the whole segment of the pump is 10 segments Thank you guys. Okay. We're gonna try to start it here. Let me see. And go ahead. Accelerate it. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see something here. Crank it and see. Continue cranking it. Continue. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's it, man. Is the fuel pump definitely a fuel pump? And I, uh, I gonna do it over there so you can take a look at the scanner here. So I gonna do it here, but definitely a fuel pump. But we got all the signals here that we require to and to make that a 